Welcome to the Don't Know Show. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show, a podcast, a Twitch show, and Steve going to see Piff the Magic Dragon. Yes. Uh, to steal his, his, his joke, however I like it, um, he goes, I'm Piff the Magic Dragon. You might know my more famous older brother, Steve. There you go. That, that is actually the joke. It's Steve. So it's pretty funny. It works. Um, but yeah, so uh, we're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world today. And including all this uh, was my daughter's graduation this weekend. So I have family in town. So we have 11, 11 of us going to the Piff Show. Whoa. 11. 11. That's one more than 10. It's 11. So I can't see the chat. Nope, but I can. Uh, so you'll have to have that open and see the chat. Yep. So uh, here's, Andrew, here's my question. Do you get Andrew, a group discount? Yes. Andrew, Andrew was, the answer to your question is yes. Uh, Andrew was chatting me over the weekend. He said, congratulations to Courtney, my daughter. So, yeah. So thank you, Andrew. Um, but yeah, it was good. Uh, so what we do is we talk about things that are going on in the world. And um, right now I'm a little pissed that uh, there were exploits in the, uh, the crypto world. And the IMF is uh, definitely uh, exploiting all of them. And they're trying to destroy crypto and keep us under control. So um, the IMF took Argentina and said, look, you guys have to write laws to ban crypto in your country. Or we're calling all the money that you owe due to us, and we will not give you another loan. They did that publicly. And then, uh, what you call it, crashed. Um, what, what you call it? Uh, they crashed Terra Luna. And uh, hey, here's Dakota. Yes. Hey, Dakota. Welcome Dakota! To the show. Oh, what's up? You're on the show? You're live? Yeah, I'm live on the show. Hi, there guys. he is. He's live. Oh, my God. Yeah. Do you have a mustache? Yes, sir. No kidding. Oh, my God. The last time I saw him in real life, he was like eight. That sounds about right. Uh, he's graduated, graduated and everything. So where are you going to park at? I don't know. That's what I was going to ask. Well, when do we need to be there? Like, uh, when, when do you want us up there? Well, 7 o'clock is when the show starts. We should be there by 630. I'll do. I'll see you there. So you can go park at, at where you were to park at Planet Hollywood and walk in. All right. Or you can park and pay. It's $15. Okay. At Bally's or, uh, or, or, or Flamingo. Okay, cool. Thanks. Bye, show. See ya. Bye, show. <laughs> Bye, show. So, yeah. So, All right. So, there's we'll that. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's crazy. But, um, yeah, so then they crashed Terra Luna. Um, they did, like, you know, I could do a run on a bank. Well, since yes. they're all the banks and they have all the money, they bought a bunch of crypto. Or they bought a bunch of, of uh, Terra Luna. And then they called it, they called it all in. They tried to trade it in $950 million worth. Just a and drop in exploit. the bucket. It's a, for them it is, but it's an exploit. And it is one of the weaknesses of the coin. So somebody would have done it, but they orchestrated that. And then I don't know if you saw the news this week, but the day that happened, all of a sudden the government had all these rules and oh, how they could protect us from this ever happening. And they could do the USDC, which is a U.S.-backed crypto coin. Amazing, isn't it? The um, same wait, wait. Just, let me put on my shock face. The government, the government that can't do anything in a day, all of a sudden, on the same day it happened, figured out how they're going to protect us from it. Well, it's really easy to do, you know. Pretty amazing. Well, here's the worst part. These guys don't care because it's a public ledger. One of the advantages of having crypto is it's a public ledger. So every transaction is on a public ledger. You can tell what wallet did every transaction. Right, now, you don't know who owns the wallet though. Because they don't have KYC on everything, which is one of the advantages of, of crypto is the fact that you know they can't go, hey Scott, you didn't, you know, we're gonna lock off your funds and stuff like that. Um, yeah, but they could track everything. So right. if you were up to notorious they could find your wallets and, and do all that, you know, or nefarious or not notorious, nefarious stuff. They could find it. They could track it all down. So it's not like it's not, it's not trackable. So they're going through and they're finding all the wallets that did this and they're tying them all to, um, well, right now the big three players are BlackRock, 
BlackRock, who owns everything, they're like the largest uh, mutual fund in the world. They own all the banks. They, they're buying a property like crazy, so we have to rent property from them, so we can't own anything. Uh, BlackRock, Citadel, and then Gemini is another company that was part of it because they, they want to be a crypto exchange. But the funny part about it is uh, they came out and said, well, we didn't loan them the money to do this. Okay, so it wasn't a loan. That's like that's like when the cops go, oh, you're a person of interest. You're not a suspect. You're a person of interest. Because if you're a suspect, they have to read you your Miranda rights and you have rights. That is correct. If you're a person of interest, you have no rights. So although you can you just get up and walk it, out too. Whatever you whatever you call it, it's 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 just crap. It's called it glitching hairs. It just goes to show why we don't talk about politics. Because they control us and own us. And there's and, and there's not a whole lot we could do about it. That is mostly correct. And, and it's and it's it's hundred percent correct. They own you. No, they don't. That would be slavery. Um pretty much. All they did was they brought the, the upper class farther away from the middle class. They pushed the middle class closer to the lower class. Because think about it, just going to go around numbers. Let's say you make 30000 a year. Let's say you make more now. Let's say you make 50000 a year and you're considered middle class. Okay. Now they just gave raises to all the lower class. But they didn't give raises to the middle class. So now the lower class is closer to the middle class. Yes. Okay. So if you're making $15 an hour now, which they want to move the minimum wage to everybody, that's what, about $32,000 a year? Okay. Right. So now they're only they're only 18,000 away from each other. But yet they raised all the prices for everything. How are you enjoying your five dollar a gallon gas? Well, I'm not paying that for gas. I'm only paying four dollars and 19 cents a gallon. Yeah, whatever. Point being. But diesel is, fuel, on the other hand, is over five dollars. Yeah. Point being, point being is guess what? They just they just control us. They're just owning us. And it, yeah. And you just, go to the grocery store and your groceries that normally cost you $60 now cost you a hundred and they say, Oh, it's gone up 8%. That's not 8%. Did I tell you the story about the guy that I, I thought I was doing a favor. I gave him a $5 McDonald's card because he was out doing some extra at work. Yeah. And, and, and for a, a number seven, which is a two cheeseburger meal, it's $8 and 12 cents. Exactly. Two cheeseburgers, fries and a Coke. He goes, well, yeah, thanks. But <laughs> it didn't even pay for my lunch. I know. I'm like, what the hell, man? How sad is that? Yes, very much so. So yeah, so we're and, screwed. And I did we're not raise my prices session. on my bus, and I'm I'm now in the process of considering doing a fuel surcharge like everybody else does because we're well, gonna have to. It's just you're stupid. It's, it's ridiculous, uh, you know. And it's yeah, we're done. We're done for. They own us. Stock market's tanking. Everything's tanking. So oh well. That's right. We're all just going to invest in something even better than crypto. Well, <laughs> they're, they're, there's, there's nothing. They're, they're, they're going to own us. I'm going to drive pick up grandma. Well, every, everybody needs to invest in the don't know show. That's right. Send us money. <laughs> I just, uh, I did a group last night um, for a uh, guy's day out. They went golfing. I picked them up in the morning, dropped them off at the golf nice. range. Came back and got him in the afternoon. And then they said, hey, this was so much fun. We want you to do it again tonight. So I picked them up right after dinner, took them back in the late team and dropped them off. And they said, yeah, we'll be ready at one o'clock. So I got there, you know, quarter to one. And they said, yeah, we'll be out in 10 minutes. We'll An hour and a half yes. later, they came out. Okay, so I'm going to Bally's. Yeah. Uh, Peggy's leaning. I'm trying to get grandma situated and everything. Hi, Peggy. Uh, yeah, you're going to Bally's, okay? Okay. Okay, Peggy. Yeah, and then we're going to the Flamingo. You're walking to the Flamingo. Right. Yeah, you're walking across the street. Okay. And Don't forget, Valley. you got to stand on one leg. Uh, okay. Don't forget what, Scott? She has to stand on one leg. Okay. Yeah, stand on one leg because it's a Flamingo. Hi, Scott. Hi, Peggy. Scott, Scott? Hi, Grandma. Hi, Scott. Where are you, Scott? I can't see you. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to get your seatbelt on first. Where is he? He's right here. There you oh, are. Hello. How are you? Hello. Yeah, well, where are you? 
I'm in Delavan, Wisconsin. Where are you? You're in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yeah, I'm over here. <laughs> so, what are you doing it, over there? And yeah, actually, this I'm picture gonna... is my bank in Darien, Wisconsin. Speaking of money, what were you over there? Visiting what you don't have? Uh, no, you know, it's my pay, uh, what do you call it? Deposits from the business. Are we on the Don't Know Show? Are you, you are. You're live on the Don't Know yeah. Show. Are you home? Well, my studio. Oh, your stu stu oh. stu stu studio. Yeah. Stu 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 oh. studio. Stu, 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 stu. Okay. <laughs> uh oh, you're on the road and you just froze up, so you might have lost connection. Let's see if we keep you. So, anyway, yeah, it's the problem with driving. Oh, there you're back. Oh, you went. Okay, you're back. We heard you though. We're watching you. <laughs> okay. So that, Thursday, Scott, I got something for the Don't Know Show. What do you got? I just learned Thursday that Vince Gill was in Pride Prairie League. Pride Prairie League? I thought said Pure Prairie League. Pure Prairie League. Yeah. No, Pure Prairie League. Right. What did, what is that? He didn't know that. Did you know that? Why would I know that? I don't know. Because you're a DJ. I, dude, I, I can tell you a band name and I can tell you some of their songs, but who's in the band? The only one I really remember is Harry Chapin and Bruce Springsteen because the, their their names are in the band. What band were they in? Harry Chapin was in his own band. Bruce, well, Bruce Springsteen had had what is the E Street Band? That yeah. sounds right. But, but Clarence Clemens. How about Clarence Carter? No, Clarence Clemens. Clarence Clemens playing the saxophone. Okay. So, are you home? Sort of. My studio yeah, is above my garage. Oh, he's in his okay. studio. Oh, okay. What about George Clinton? What about George Clinton? No relation to Bill Clinton. No, no, but George Clinton, that name sounds really familiar. I can't remember what song that I know him from, though. <laughs> um, Clarence Carter. No. It's the other guy. Uh, that's Clarence Carter, of course. George Clinton. Who? What the heck did he do? See, I'm terrible at, at that kind of stuff. I'm really good. If somebody comes up and they request a song, I, I can remember it in my head. Well, I'm. This is the. Go ahead. I just. I just want you. I just want everybody to see it's not me. Go ahead. You it is you. With him for a little bit and see and see it and see if it's me or him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Everybody Go knows it's you, Steve. It's everybody all your fault. Scott, take it away, Pat. Yeah, except I've done three DJ shows in the past three years. Okay, all these guys are much older than three years worth of uh, music. I'm not asking you about, uh, you know, um, um, Lord. Yeah, Lord, or I'm not asking you about, why can't I think of the guy with all the tattoos on his face? Post Malone. Post Malone. I'm not asking you about Post Malone. Hmm. He's like, who's Post Malone? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. Who is that? Who is that? I don't know about Lord or Post Malone. <laughs> so I'm not asking about those guys. Bruno asking, Mars? Yeah. <laughs> I know Bruno Mars. As a matter of fact, okay, there's a song, song about Bruno Mars called All About name, Bruno. Name name, name Bruno Mars song. Matchbox. Uptown Funk. <laughs> no, that's your, not a good song. Your turn. Your turn. Come on. I did okay. what you did one. I did one. Let's go. Oh, I have to give you a name of an artist and you're going to tell me a song? No, you got to name another Bruno Mars song. Forget oh. it. He's not going to play the game. He doesn't want to play the game. No, no. Got a, Pat, what else are you going to ask him? Ask him another question, Pat. It's always game for for parents, Steve. That's all you had, too? <laughs> that's all he's got. No, that's the thing I had. It's about Vince Gill. Well... Here, here's the biggest thing that I've learned with all the stuff well, that I'm going it, on I now. I find it interesting. He, with Pure Prairie League, he's one of their biggest songs is Amy. Yes. Amy, what you want to do? I and, think I could stay with you. And then Vince Gill ends up marrying <laughs> Amy I'm trying Ryan. to remember. Scott, that's what uh, George Clinton Did was you know known that? for. Scott, what? Did you know that? And Vince Gill married Amy Grant? 
you know, famous they, Pure Prairie League song? They like, spelled, told the future. Their name spelled different than what they spelled the name. Of. Yes. So. Correct. Yes to what? Yes, that you knew it was Mary Damon Grant, or yes, you know it was spelled differently. I knew both because the way that, that they spell Amy <laughs> for the song is A M I E E, and she just spells it A M Y. Do you know that Vince Gill is now part of the Eagles? Um, I heard that the Eagles were back to performing, but not with the original members. So, no, I did not know him. They had Vince Gill as a member to perform as an Eagle. See, that's what I'm telling you guys. He doesn't know anything. I don't know anything. <laughs> but you ask him what the manna is on his sword right now. No, wrong, wrong thing. Manna is your. See, 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 see now he knows. Ask see, look, now, now, go ahead. Ask him what? Go ahead, Scott. Geek out on us. I, I play a game called Lineage 2. There is HP, which is your health. There's mana, which is your. Like magical energy for using oh. skills, and there's VIP or VP, which is your vitality that allows you to get more XP as long um, as you have vitality. Lineage two. Oh, lineage. No, oh, the MMO lineage. MMORPG, yes. Yeah, originally from Korea. Correct. Korean pop, baby. <laughs> All they do is play Korean pop music. Actually, you ought to hear some of the weird music they play in that game. It's all Korean pop. But no, it's not pop. Not even close to pop. It's like it's, it's like pop. Korean Renaissance music. You like you like black pink? Do I like like black pink? <laughs> this guy's not a DJ, I'm telling you. Did you not play any yes? Come on. Did you not play any black pink out of the DJ? You're gonna have any kids. Did your daddy daughter dance? You didn't play any black pink? They didn't request that? DJ no, they the did not. Did they order BTS? Do you know what the number one requested thing was at the Daddy Daughter Dance? No, what? Anything from the movie Trolls. Seriously, the World Tour one? Yeah, unbelievable. And, <laughs> and that's not music that I can get, so I had to buy it oh, online in order to play it. Uh, I'll, turn, I'll turn the heat up. You're cold? We just, went through a, we just went through a heat wave. We've been in the 90s. Okay. I'm a girl, and girls get cold quickly. It was 60 degrees here on Wednesday. It's 100 degrees here today. And she's cold. Oh, because you got the air conditioning on. Yeah, I'm always cold. Okay. Yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. Well, you know what you need to do? You need to invest in a hot tub. I've never been in one, so I don't want to start going in a hot tub. Yeah, they're addicting once you're in them. Not only that, they yeah. found out that health, uh, hot tubs are actually good for you. Yeah? You think yes. So? Well, it does a couple of different things. It, it increases your metabolism, so it helps you if you're on a diet. It also increases your circulation for people who have especially um, bad circulation sure in their lower extremities. I'm sure that study was funded by the hot tub. So exactly. Think, I don't exactly. think that because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not, what was that first one? On a diet? I'm, on, I, I'm not on a diet. Well, I'm, I'm on a diet. You are? Well, okay. That's okay. Certainly. If I see a donut, I eat it. <laughs> you see a donut, you eat it. Huh? That's right. It's funded by the Hot Tub okay. Society. I'm going through the tunnel at the airport, so we'll see what happens here. It's, is that the Tunnel of Love? No. Okay. The tunnel at the airport. Oh, tunnel, darn it. Tunnel of misery. I thought I was going to find some love now. <laughs> Well, you're in the wrong car for that. All you're going to get is, is obnoxious people. Oh. Gloom, despair, and agony on me. Deep, dark depression, excessive misery. See, the worst part is this is supposed to be a positive show, and he does that. That was a funny show, hee-haw. Hee-haw, hee-haw. Ah, ah, that was cool. Is that good? So, so I'm, I'm going to be at the, the hotel before our show's up. So what do you want to do? You want me to, I'll try and switch it over um, and stay stay alive. Uh, wait, it's 5 and 6. It's 5 and 6. We've got to undo. Take the wheelchair. Yeah. So we're going to take the wheelchair. So, I think, so it doesn't matter if we're there early, right? So Bob going to sit in the wheelchair. Yeah. Okay. Do you get do you get special treatment for having a wheelchair? 
No. It's for me. No, it makes it worse. Because I don't have a handicap placard, so I got to pull up into handicap spots, drop her off, then go find a spot. Well, that's oh, just no. silly. Where are you at right now? Home? See, yeah, Senora. Why are you in a drive thru? You're going to get run over. Look at me well, standing in the middle of a drive thru. Right I here. know. It's terrible, isn't it? He's in the middle of a drive thru. You want me to put a different picture up there just to make you happy? Do you see him? <laughs> you see him? He's, he's in the middle of a drive thru. Look. I see that. He's going to get run over. Why would he sit there? Yeah. See? Why are you doing that? <laughs> why am I, why am I sitting in so the drive thru? Why did you take a picture? Yeah, why did you take a picture of that as your background? Because look at the temperature. I can't see it. I'm on a small screen. Look, look, All right. It says 91 degrees and it was like, you know, the first week of May. And what was the humidity? Well, the dew point was 76. Which is nasty, yeah, nasty, that, nasty. That don't the question. Yeah, they don't talk about humidity. They talk show. about dew point now, you know. He doesn't, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He says you don't know. <laughs> he always says that. But this time, this is one of the subjects that I am familiar with. So it's how, it, it's, it's how, I, it's how I plug the show, the don't know show. Yes. <laughs> so, anywho, how far are you away? I don't know. Not far. I mean, okay. I can see it from here. I don't, I don't remember how to switch the camera. And it's probably just going to show the the mount anyways. It's probably not going to show you out there. <laughs> yeah. Are you yeah. at Yes. Are you home? I are home. For all practical purposes. Oh. By the way, what did it say in the on the bag in the back window? On the bag in the back window? That's yeah, behind Pat. Chair. That's a wheelchair. That's my wheelchair. Oh, that's the wheelchair. It looks uh, okay. I see that's a handle now. Okay. And yeah, that's yeah, yeah, bags have handles, but so do wheelchairs. Yeah. That's true. So yeah. Again, just like you couldn't see the the temperature, it, the picture's kind of small. Small screen, yeah. Yeah. Small screen. Although, at least my screen's a little bigger because I'm using my laptop monitor. Well, I'm <laughs> using the monitor on my phone. So. Which is really tiny. But tiny, tiny. Yeah, so a lot of stuff going on this week. They're loading in uh, Magic Live. So that's all the magicians have a convention here. So I don't know if I'm going to do anything for that. Um, and then Thursday, my buddy Adam Hunter is coming in, and he's going to do his podcast live on Thursday night, uh, his, w, his MMA uh, podcast. So I'm going to head over to that. He wants to be in the audience for that. So. Okay. Yeah, and you then, know why, right? Who do I? You know why he wants you in the audience, right? That boosts his uh, viewership. That's correct. It's kind of like why we keep asking people to like, subscribe, and share because it boosts viewership. Uh, we forgot to do that at the beginning of the show. Oh man, I am in a bad. Yeah, we. Yeah, I forgot that part of it. But do it now. Go well, ahead, and move your stuff down. Why are there chandeliers hanging up there? That's weird. First time I've noticed that. Where is it? Are you? See, on? see, things do change. So. Do they? Yes. It's, do they? I just, we were at Chili's for lunch today and they are going uh -oh. to completely remodel the whole building inside and out. So oh, Chili's is going with a new look? Yes. I don't eat at Chili's anymore. So yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know that. Cause I know it's Chili today and hot tamale. I get it. No, no, I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't eat at Chili's. It's just not, it's not a, it's not that much anymore. your kind of food. Well, you, you're not any more totally vegan, right? No, I'm not, but Peggy is. But they have vegan stuff. Yes, they do. But um, I've actually had a craving for an honest-to-goodness chef salad, but almost nobody around here makes them anymore because they're so labor-intensive. Yeah, I got wedge salads. We have wedge salads here. I like those. Wet <laughs> salads. Wedge. A wedge. Like you, eat, like you eat salad like a piece of pizza? No, they... You, they give you your salad, they grab your underwear and pull it up over your head. Oh. So I'm not sure if I like that kind of salad. No, what it is is they literally cut the, the head of, of uh, lettuce 
into quarters. Right. So it's a wedge of lettuce. And then it usually has blue cheese dressing on it and some cherry tomatoes. Sometimes they add bacon, but. Bacon! How can you but not have bacon on anything? Bacon's good on almost everything. No, the, the blue cheese is the good part of the a creamy blue cheese dressing on uh, on the green head lettuce. Mm, that's good stuff. One of the things that baffles the hell out of me is that when you go to weddings and stuff like that, they give you Italian and ranch. Those are your two choices for dressing. It's like neither one of those are my dressing. Uh, well, then ask for some ketchup and some mayonnaise. Exactly. Uh, I, sometimes I actually do that. They go, why? So I can make my own Thousand Island dressing. That's all it is? Well, no, you add a little relish to it for Thousand well, Island. There's the billboard for Piff the Magic Dragon. Yeah. Piff the, the Magic Dragon oh, has no clue where you are. But, oh, I hear your turn signal even. It almost sounds yeah, like a metronome. Going, yeah, so we're going up. They're also filming the finale for uh, American Ninja Warrior, but we didn't go to that. We could have, but we didn't. Because mom and Pat didn't get in till like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah. I didn't get home till almost in. three in the morning. Yeah, but that was after being up all day. Yes. So. Yeah. Oh, look I mean, at that. So Pat, Pat a- said, ah, screw this show. I'm just going to take a nap. So, anywho. Going, going to uh, the East Valley. I'm going to talk to the valet guy valet in. Pat's going to unpack the wheelchair, get mom in the wheelchair. And then um, I'm going to try and hopefully when I shut the car off, the stuff will switch over and I'll be able to hear and see you. That's what I, I don't know if that's going to work or not. Oh, right. He, he'll be so if we get disconnected, I just have so, to re-invite you. Yeah, you have to come. I'm going to see you back. in person then? No. Oh. He's, he's in Delavan, Wisconsin. Oh, oh he, Yeah, he's at home. Oh, you're home. But yeah. the show's up again. So I don't know. Yeah, you're all robot Bad connection here. Yeah, it's a bad connection. Yep. But it's cool. So what else are we going to talk about what's going on in the world? Well, we do have a whole bunch of uh, show subjects, but obviously there's not a whole lot of time left. <laughs> Who cares? Is it well, half time? No, not quite. Close. Six <laughs> more minutes. Present time. No, just do it now. Do it now? Oh, <laughs> that way... That way you guys can hear fun guy, the entertainer, doing his genuine positivity message. Yeah, something like that. All right. Allergy season may give you a headache, but the oh, gloomy... Oh, fl- see that? I sneezed, and then you did something about allergies. And I didn't exactly. Know, so some, and, of course, board. as usual, you are rude, and you interrupted the message. That's not rude. <laughs> it's just trying to get the audience uh, involved so that they know, and they're like, oh, I should listen. You should listen because Steve says so, and he's the king. I wish. Boss, I want to raise. I want you to that triple my salary. I'll give you a raise. <laughs> All right, we'll try this genuine positivity message one more time. Is that okay with you, boss? Yeah, and, and also, and also, you notice it's closer to the right time. Sure, you you ate up a whole minute. There you go. Allergy season may give you a headache, but the blooming flowers are both beautiful and fragrant, making it almost worth the throb. There's somebody that... that, that almost worth it. There's somebody that what? Plays Elvis? Yeah, there's lots of people who play Elvis. Who? Uh, Me. Trent Carter. Thank you very much. Eva lost wages. See? There he is. Yeah, he, he's my guy. I like Elvis. I wish he was alive. Really? He is. He's just on a different planet. <laughs> uh, I he thought he was working at a Burger King in Michigan. No, he got abducted by aliens. Who, uh, well, Elvis? Sure. No, he didn't. He's up there with Jesus. Well, they see what they do is all the famous people that are really good that appeared to die too young. That's what it is. The aliens, you know, dropped a clone in their place and took them for their planet. Oh, is that right? Is that how it works? It, it sounds like a great plan to me. I mean, why not? That's what Scott's hoping for. I don't know. Yeah, I want to get abducted by aliens and take it to a different planet and be able to perform there. Only is not that get... what you want? 
Well, I also perform for aliens. That's never going to work. Why not? What if they like my show style? Because it's never going to happen. <laughs> well, wow. when I was all, when I was all done with my daddy it's daughter dance, here, mellow. I don't care. It's never going to happen. When when wow. I was all. Yeah, when I was all done with my show over the weekend, as I was packing up my lighting, I decided to sing a song because I haven't sung in public in a really long time. And I did Neil Diamond's Holly Holy. And the people who, the five people that were still there stopped what they're doing and actually watched me sing. And they were pretty, and I didn't screw it up. I thought for sure with, you know, three years of not performing, it, I was going to suck. And I didn't. Yay. Here's to not sucking. Are you still singing? Uh, well, I when I can, it's just I haven't been. I got a little rusty. I tried to do the lion sleeps tonight at home, and I couldn't hit the high notes anymore. So you're so you're not singing really anymore. Not enough, no, because I'm too busy with everything else. <coughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get uh, buses ready for this busy season, which has already technically started. Yeah. Yep. Well, you, you should, know, you should go, go back to to uh, singing. I don't disagree with you. Yeah. Uh, I'm underneath here, and okay, if you can hear me. Yeah, no, you've really got real body. Yeah, it's a, it's a bad area. We're back by the pool, though, so yeah. so the view's pretty good. That explains why Pat's getting naked back there. He's going to go skinny dipping. Oh, now it's robot really bad. You might you might disconnect there. Yeah, uh, hopefully this is still valid. See, I am going to be abducted by aliens. That's what you guys sound like, robotic aliens. Yeah, you, you are completely froze up now. I was really hoping Andrew would show up because I've got a good show subject for Andrew. Andrew. Okay. Well, we are at the top of the hour. Hopefully, Steve's going to pop back in here shortly. Right now, he's just frozen up. I don't know if he's hearing me at all. But I was really kind of curious about what 3D printers can print. And Steve found a really awesome list of 50 cool things. Three, oh, yeah, you disappeared to print for. So I am kind of curious what this says. Oh, oh, maybe he's coming back. Hey, it's kind of coming back. I'm in valet, so I can't really move to get to a better. Uh, yep, there you valet. are. I see you guys. But I don't know if this is valet. Or not. I don't know if this is valet or not anymore. Oh, yeah, I see a valet guy. Do they go. wear different uniforms when they're valet? I'm trying to no. see where the valet guys are. No, there's no, no, none that I can see. That's bad because then anybody can pretend they're valet and steal your car. Uh -oh. Exactly. Yeah. Trying to see. Don't tell me that. It scares this me. Valet. So valet still open. <laughs> All right. Apparently, this well, list that you came up with, I'm going to hold off till next week because there's some cool stuff in here. So we'll hold off on that. Yeah. Sorry so, about the connection back here. Yeah. Well, the other part is you don't have your show board. So. so let's see. How about Kenner, not Kenner? What's this all about? Kenner, not Kenner. Oh, that looks cool, too. Is the back still open? I got to go to the front one? Okay. So we don't have the back valet anymore, huh? This one got moved. Oh, there you are. You're back. I'm back, yeah. So All right. The, the valet got moved. There's no back valet anymore. Well, that sucks. I got a front valet. And that's where the line is, right? Yeah. Uh, well, okay. I'm, no, I'm stuck in a line here, but it's not a valet anymore, so. This kind of totally sucks. So, let's try to get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, here is something that might help you out a little bit. Do you know what Friday is going to be? 
Uh, you're cutting out, sorry, and I'm trying to watch so I don't hit over, run over people in bathing suits here. What's wrong with that? Uh, you get to jump out and give them, you know, mouth to mouth. Right there. Sweet pump letting out. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see where Valet is here. And maybe All have right. to do chest compressions. Yeah. I think I'm going to have to go up front here. So let's I'm, see I'm bad at that. All right. So anyway, Pat. So anywho. I'll work with Pat here since you're focused on something else. Guess what Friday is, Pat? Okay. Uh, I have no idea. It's an important national day. What does national. that mean? It's National Blame day? Someone Else Day. Oh, really? Yes. That's it is cool. celebrated on the first Friday the 13th of the year. And this is going to be the first Friday the 13th of this year. Well, I've got to um, find was, somebody I can that play. Was, that, was, that, was, that was the last, that was Friday the 13th. <laughs> Not two uh, two days ago. Today's the 15th, but thank you for uh, playing. See, <laughs> it was two days ago, but still, it was, it was there. I thought there was one coming up, but yeah. I don't know what day it is. Oh, look, it's the 15th today. Woohoo! Yeah. Next year, it's going to happen in January. So we got Friday the 13th in January next year. That's my birthday. It's All your right, birthday Pat. and you cry if you want to. That's right. right. I'm going to let mom and Pat out. All right. Okay. Guess, guess who created this tradition? Yeah. Mark Twain. Mark Twain created the tradition? Yes. Tradition, tradition. Tradition, tradition, tradition. Tradition's getting the wheelchair. See the thing, the things that he's good for. Yeah. So, uh, well, that sucks that they moved valet up here. It's much harder to get in and out of. Well, maybe it's a pandemic thing, and they'll change it next year. Uh, well, not everything works all the time. No, it does not. There's no doubt about okay. it. Okay, I'm going. Bye. Good to see you again. To have fun at the show. Okay, thank you. Uh, all right, I'm going to disconnect from the car here somehow. I don't know how. Um, and and you're supposed to be the tech savvy dude, and and you're going to well, not know. And, but they're, they're not shutting the car off because the valet is going to take it. That's true. Uh, so it would shut off, but it doesn't shut off. So I don't know how that's going to work. And all the valet guys just left. <laughs> so. Well, valet to yourself. I got to close my back window here. The window or the hatch? The hatch. So I got the hatch closed. And then I don't know how to... It says, I don't have my controls. I can't turn my Bluetooth off. Huh. You do you it on your last, uh, You want to do the last 20 minutes on your own, or you want to cut the show short? Um, well, I do have one other thing that I do want to talk about. Which is what? The heat. Remember I mentioned how we've been breaking records here, 91 degrees already? Yeah. Did you hear what happened in Pakistan yesterday? Hey, I want to shut the car off and see what happens. Okay. I shut the car off. You lost volume on you, but your video is still there. Can you hear me? Now you just kicked in. There you go. Okay, here I am. Except, of course, we're looking at, at your chest. Go, yeah, I know. I'm standing up. Okay. There you go. Good. How you doing? Good. Checking in or visiting? Uh, visiting. We're going to see Piff. All right, welcome. And uh, you have a Caesar's reward. I do. Platinum, yeah. Thank you for asking. Jersic, J-E-R-S-I-C. Don't believe him. He's a scammer. Uh, no, I think I figured out once a minute. I'm used to going to the back one, but you guys close that back valley. Yeah, we're up here now. For so it's up here? Yeah, cool. So I'll just check in here. No, no, no. we got the Seahawks. The left, right there. So we had it. Beautiful. We got the ballet book right here. For you also. Okay, great. Right. Thanks. Appreciate that. All right. I'm going to try and get away from the car before he restarts it and takes you back on control over there there you go he didn't he didn't even pay attention to me did he uh no i, I had him away from you so sorry yeah 
That you ruined all the fun. You're supposed to make sure you weren't a scammer. Yep. Try to make sure I'm getting far enough away from the car, though. Should be. I think that thing only works for like 15 feet. I, I don't know where the elevator is, Pat. I don't know how you go up. Um, usually with a little blue pill. Is it down the ramp and up here? Yes. Down, down, yes. down, 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 do, do, down, there. down. Oh, yeah, I did that song, too. Forget about that. Yes, there's a sign that said elevator that I sent them to. So there we're you. actually in the Flamingo right now, which is one of the properties that uh, MGM is looking to sell. Should we buy it? Sure. Going up the escalator. Think they'd let us have it for 20 bucks? Yeah, I doubt it. I get afford 20 like bucks. I don't know if it's a billion or not, but I got to figure out where the elevator is. There's the theater over there. I'll show you the theater we're going to. They closed the back valet. They closed the back valet. So you guys are going to have to go down there now. So there, Pat and mom are coming up the elevator somewhere over there. I just uh, noticed a couple of new can... people just popped in. So while Steve's telling so his people they're there, at, they're so on the way. They're uh, at the. Uh, over here. They're going to see Piff the Magic Dragon show in Las Vegas, which of course, as you know, is where Steve is from. Yeah. So, so this is pretty funny. This used to have Piff stuff on there, but now it's got Wayne Newton on there. Wayne Newton. Ah, Theater. Wayne Newton Theater. Yes. Yeah. So that's pretty funny. So I, I don't even know if that's still the theater or not. Did you forget her? Did you forget? Her? Did you forget her hat and gloves? Oops. There's Jeannie. Isaiah Jeannie. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm still kicking. It's good. it's good to actually see you instead of just see you chat. I know. And usually you guys are doing your show when I'm um, working. So it's hard for me to, at work, watch you guys. You need a new new job. I know. I know. So I can watch your show. And exactly. Because that's so important. That is very important. That's why I watch you guys all the time I can. There you go. Oh, I'm talking to Scott. Oh. Hello again. There's there's Scott. He's waving again. I know. I'm talking to him all the way here. Good. Yeah. Good. So yeah. So oh, here's Where's something we've Bob? never done. Bob Bob's at home. Who cares? Uh, here, look. Can you see the girls? See the girls coming out of the. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, you don't see that every day. Nope, don't see that every day. And then, and then, I, I don't think I've ever done a shot of this on the show. Okay, that looks pretty. Oh, that's a casino. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. So, yeah, casino. And there's a sports book, small sports book. Uh, hey, that's what we could do. We could take all our crypto and currency invested money and, and put it on bookies. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah. give us the same return. Yeah. No, I don't think so. I think casino still a worse return. All right. So guess what staggering record Pakistan broke with their heat wave? The who to what? They had the northern hemisphere is experiencing higher than average temperatures. You know that, right? Okay. All right. Well, Pakistan is in the northern hemisphere over in Asia, right? Okay. All right. Guess what temperature they hit the other day? 160. Well, no, because then everybody would be dead. But would they be? Would yes. They be? 51 would degrees they? Celsius, which is 
130 degrees. Did I guess Pretty, right yet? Just short. 125 degrees. It was 128.3. Wait, I got a guess. Uh, so we're playing the Bob Barker show, right? Higher, lower? Yes, yes, yes. So 128 degrees. Yeah, you 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 still were wrong, but that's okay. Still wrong. All right. I'm trying to get a good shot for you here, and I don't know whether to get a good shot of. Now, no. it's all right. It's kind of cool. Is it? You know what's weird is it looks like the ceiling's only like eight feet high. What time is it, Scott? It is eight fifteen my time, so it's six fifteen your time. Uh, six fifteen. Okay, cool. Oh, 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 oh! I said the wrong thing. It's what, howdy doody up? time. That's it. Uh, I don't know. I can't. I, I can't see the clock or anything. What time oh, yeah, did the show here. start? Seven. All right. So you still got time. You got, got forty five you got forty five minutes. So do you want to continue doing what you're doing or do you want to cancel the show so you can focus on your family? I can't hear you. What? Do you want to continue just wandering around showing us the thing or do you want to do I, the I word of the week and go? I, guess. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what else to show you. They're all standing here because they're going to the bathroom and stuff like that, so I don't know where they're at. They're going to the bathroom there? They, yeah, the, the casino. Yeah, they, they have bathrooms in the casinos. Oh, here, okay. They're not just going there. They're going to the bathroom there. Okay. See? See look, they have restrooms. restrooms. These are they're restrooms. animals in the desert. They actually have indoor plumbing. Okay. That's good. So... Oh. So I don't know where the ramp is. Oh, way over there. But the ramp's way over there. But this should be the theater, but not calling it the Wayne Newton Theater. So is that the right theater? The entrance is on the other side, I think. So I don't know. All right, Peggy, don't look. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. No, Peggy, Peggy won't turn around. Pam will be on the show though. Pam will be on the show. Uh -huh. Hey, look, Pam wants to be on. The show. Oh, look, she looks like cousin it. <laughs> cousin it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh uh, yeah. So I don't know what else to show you. All right. Well, we'll just do the word of the week and we'll call it a show. What? What else? What else is there? Just the word of the week for now. Uh, are we done? Sure, let's just do that so you can focus on the family. Are you sure? Sure, we got 45 minutes in. That's good. Uh, I, I, I could go down to the casino. I don't know that's, what the rule is on that. I yeah, don't know if you can. Uh, yeah, exactly. That could be a problem. So, anyway, listen to the word of the week because it's a good one. What is it? It's aromatic. Aromatic? Yes, instead of being odiferous, we want aromatic because that means having a pleasant and distinctive smell, such huh. as, you know, a massage with those aromic oils. You know how good that smells. It's very aromatic in here, but it smells like cigarettes. That's not aromatic. That's a different thing. Here's the funny part about these elevators. They go straight through to the other side. Oh, really? They go into the theater, yeah. Ah. Look, look, I'm a... Look, I'm at the Wayne Newton show. Good old Wayne Newton at the Flamingo. Yeah. And just remember, when you're standing in line, you got to stand on one leg. Yeah. See? See what we're doing? You get to do a fist bump. Give me a fist bump, yes. Oh, look, he's going to do it again over here on this one. Interactive wall. You like that? Give me a fist bump. The person who works here went by laughing. I did that. The person who works here went by, and she's laughing her ass off. Very God. funny. Look at his dork. Thinks he's funny. But she laughed, so it was funny. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, she went the other way. You know, the one thing that kind of baffles me is how I'm wide open it is. Trying to get some of the people in the swimwear to go by. They keep going the opposite directions. And I don't want to be overtly obvious, just go, wait, there's a way to switch the camera around. I don't remember how. 
It's a little circle with air, made out of arrows. Where is it? Here it is. There it is. Yep. That's the way to do it. Because the buttons disappear when you do it. That is correct. So I'm trying to remember. So, yeah, I can't see any more bathing suits now, darn it. So why do they gamble in bathing suits? So if they lose their shirt, they, they're, they're topless? Uh, so I don't know where my family went. They ditched me. That was nice of them. Well, actually, nice you ditched huh? them because I watched you walk away from them. Uh, what the hell? That's a sculpture. Oh, that's her hair. I get it now. That's her hair. Yes. Oh, that's crazy. Can, can you hear me? Can I hear you? Yes. Apparently, you are having trouble hearing me because you well, said your I, I didn't put my headset in. You said uh, your family ditched you. They did not ditch you. I watched you walk away from them. No, they're not there anymore. So they're not where they're at. So I don't know where they're at. They were watching me. But they're probably, not they're probably me going to the bathroom. So, so now they're, they're done doing that. So they're probably laughing, going, oh, where's Steve at? And they're... they're they're deliberately going away from me. Oh, there they are. We went to the flamingos. Oh, they went to the flamingo. The, to see the flamingos? Whoops. I don't know what that is. What's the flamingo? No. Nope. Oh, you went to see the live flamingos. Oh, they went out to the garden out here. Okay. That's where we're going. You want to see a flamingo? Sure. Are they out there? Are they out there? This was in uh, Vegas Vacation. Or no, it was in a movie where they threw them out there with the flamingos and the flamingo attacked them. Oh, sure. I don't remember what movie that was. I think Me? it was a Paul Blart movie. Was it Paul Blart, the number two? Like, yeah, Mall Cop 2 or whatever? Yeah, Mall Cop 2. That could be. Did you see them? Oh, look how pretty that is. Yep, this is the pool area back up here that way. Back that way. There's there's pooey in the pond. There's poo in the pond. Uh oh. Or, or, or koi in the pond. I don't remember. I, mean, I, I couldn't hear if she said poo or, or koi. Poo in the Winnie pond. the poo. Winnie the poo. Swimming around poo in the pond. Poo in the pond. There's turtles. Oh yeah, look at the turtles. Turtle. The turtles. Turtle. Turtle. Oh, you froze up. Turtles and ducks. Quack, quack. Ow. Yeah, I don't see the flamingos though. Okay, you've been freezing up really bad. See the turtles. What's that? You're freezing up really bad. Say uh, you want to call it a quick sense? Say the end of the show? Yeah, uh, let's do that. Okay. Well, I just want to say, oh, look, there's the link. Ooh, the link. Can you press me on the background? I see it. That's called the high roller. Yes. That's, a, that's, that's now the second world's tallest. You've had pictures bigger. of that in your background multiple times. Yep. So thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision. Please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. Uh, please go to whathappened.world. Uh, check out our social media. I got to get our stuff switched over. I'm so pissed. I'm not. I have my stuff switched, my stuff switched over. And then I got to pay money. And Google's making me switch over again this month. And we got to get our web page fixed. Uh, I'm just so far behind. It's not even funny. So Me oh too. Well. You might as well just live every day. And we'll see you on the next show. Be genuinely positive, live and love life, and have a good one.